Hello, my name's Simon. Uh, I'm one of the Visitor Experience uh, Assistants at the Royal Air Force Museum at Cosford. And today, I'm going to tell you about the Messerschmitt 109. The Messerschmitt 109 was one of the most advanced aircraft during the Second World War. The reason behind that was its engine. It was a DB605 made by Daimler Benz. It was a fuel injection system. It also had uh, inverted V, and one of the most impressive parts of it is it had a hollow drive shaft. The reason behind that was because it ran a 20mm cannon straight through the engine that exited through the propeller boss. It causes a few problems for the engine. Most of these engines will all have superchargers on them. These are usually based at the back of the engine, uh, but on the DB605 they're actually placed on the very side of the engine. The problem with the uh, supercharger being on the side there is that the exhaust stacks are lower down uh, on the engine instead of uh, higher up. Uh, also throws out a lot of rubbish uh, from the exhaust, so a shroud is put over the exhaust stacks to reduce the amount of rubbish going into the supercharger and clogging the supercharger. Also on top of the engine there are two uh, mounted machine guns. Uh, these are in sync uh, with the engine, so they fire perfectly through the propeller blades. Uh, the 7.92s are very standard, uh, used throughout the German Army and the Luftwaffe. Uh, later on, in the G-Series, they are upgraded. Uh, these are moved up to 30mm machine gun rounds. In complement to the four and five weapons, the 109s could also carry bombs, and in cases like ours, can carry a fuel tank to extend the range of the aircraft. One of the other advancements on the 109 was the automatic slats. These were on the leading edge of the aircraft. Uh, at high speeds, you'd have a flat wing surface like this. At low speeds, the slats would automatically pop out at lower speeds to give extra lift under the wing on landing. Even though the Messerschmitt 109 was a successful aircraft, it did have its faults. Its main one was its undercarriage. It was very narrow undercarriage. Um, the reason being it was bolted to the frame of the aircraft instead of the wings, uh, which was designed to help manoeuvre the aircraft and also transport it on uh, railway wagons. The only issue with this was that the undercarriage had been so narrow, it wasn't as stable as a wider undercarriage, causing quite a lot of uh, taxiing and landing accidents. Our Messerschmitt 109 is a tropical variant uh, as was used over in North Africa. The tropical variants had three added extras as compared to uh, standard uh, Messerschmitt 109s. Uh, these are uh, larger uh, tyres uh, because the sand that works its way onto the runways. Uh, the supercharger has a filter uh, over it and also in the back of the aircraft with the first aid kit is a K98 hunting rifle. Here we have the nose cannon of the Messerschmitt 109 uh, this part on the side of the engine cowl is the uh, intake for the supercharger. Uh, added onto it is a filter uh, for takeoff. Uh, on takeoff, the clamshell at the front is closed to stop any sand entering, and all the air is sucked in through the sides to reduce sand entering its way into the supercharger. And finally, only on tropical versions, in the first aid compartment to the rear of the aircraft is a K98 hunting rifle. The reason there's a rifle in the back of the aircraft is uh, just in case of emergency landings uh, in the desert so the pilot can protect himself and hunt. Okay, that was my little tour of the Messerschmitt 109. I hope to enjoy it and you can come and visit the aircraft at the Royal Air Force Museum at Cosford.